Hello everyone, Vito's F3 back here with another edition of What's on Deck. Looking at what's going on in the world of playing cards for the week and what's new and what's coming. So let's start off with Kickstarter. There's not a whole lot to talk about, so I'll try to get through it pretty quick. Uh, the Impressionals Cardinal Edition, and there's the other one, the green one. Very well funded, four days left. Uh, these are, I don't think they sell them on their website afterwards, so if you want to get them, now is the time. Bicycle Airplane Cards by Collectible Playing Cards. 65% funded, 20 days to go, I believe. I sold that one last week. Next, you got Black Like Her Playing Cards by Casey Kelly. 2% funded, 28 days to go. I don't see it doing too well. Um, it's got a horrible, horrible back design. This is the back design you see right here. It's just a bunch of words <laughs> with a, I guess it's a female symbol on there. Obviously, um, only $125 out of $5,000 goals so far. It's not going to happen at this rate. The faces, they feature a bunch of African-American women that have done things. And they have information on what they've done, which is fine. Other than it's copy and paste images and just some words and nothing too exciting in the back design. Like I said, it's just horrible, lazy, I think. I mean, it's good that they put these inspirational things on there, but that should be an ad card. The back design should be something a little more inspirational, a little more empowering than that. I mean, I don't know. And then, 15 bucks for a deck. Um, apparently their inspiration or part of the inspiration is that they were uh, they wanted to expand hashtag black girl magic and positive images of black women they saw a Facebook post that said Google sexy white mom images and then Google sexy black mom images and they were mostly negative images of black women so they decided they wanted more positive images <laughs> um but you know, that is what it is. The King. They don't even have a picture of this one. Maya Angelou. Uh, anyways. Uh, looks like it's to be printed by Make Playing Cards because it's 310 GSM learning card stuff, but no confirmation of that. I don't think it's going to happen anyway. Uh, moving along. Ending by Playing Cards by Hector Alberto Perez Bezzarano is funded, finally, with four days. That's something I'm overly excited about. Next, we got Chambliss Giobi's Entropy. Entropy playing cards, actually, not Entropy. By Ginger Valentino Verga. 13% funded, 25 days to go. So we do got a few new decks to tell you about here this week. Um, this one is pretty weird. It looks like playing cards on crack. <laughs> I guess it is Entropy. Uh, here we go. It's just the images. They look like they're they took an image and they scrambled it all up. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's interesting. I give them, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting idea. It's an interesting looking deck. Maybe not the most usable or functional, and not something that really appeals to me that much. And then the back design is you see right here in the bottom. It's just a one way back design, featuring a bunch of body parts from the looks of it. It's interesting. It's an interesting piece of art, but it's kind of bizarre. And apparently, and, and look at that. Nudity. I apologize. There's nudity. <laughs> um, it still got 79 out of 100 early bird back and, uh, backer decks at $11 each. So that's not a good sign. Usually those go pretty quick. Moving along. Uh, oh, and who's producing this? Um, not likely USB-C. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> yeah, apparently it is USB-C. I'm surprised because, I mean, I'm seeing boobies. <laughs> and usually they don't do nudity and boobies <laughs> like that. I mean, that's pretty blatant what it is. <laughs> um, we'll see. They might reject it. But uh, the chances of it funding at this rate are not too good anyway. Next, we got Carnival de Muertos playing cards from Roman Cotive. They're funded with 23 days to go. 
They're printed by Noor Arts, obviously. They're very similar to uh, a couple of decks that came out before, the Fuego decks, obviously. Very similar, inspired by the same artwork, the same cre uh, the same artwork, really. There's this Marigold deck, and <clears throat> and then there's um, there is your number cards are pretty interesting. The back design, it's a one-way back design because it is hourglass in the center. Obviously, um, I wish it was mirror image, but I can understand that. And the second deck is the. Alhelai, which apparently is no, it's trying to do baby's breath. Uh, it's got kind of a baby blue color to it. Very similar art book, if not the same, just a different color in the faces. Uh, and a different back design altogether. This one is very imaged and borderless, basically. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I like it. Some people are a bit concerned. Uh, about the quality of Noir Arts playing cards. I think it's fine and they're always improving a little bit. And some were concerned about the fact that it's $15 each. Actually, it's $13 each. $24 for two, which is not a bad price. But uh, people were like, well, there's nothing special about it. Everything is stretch goals. But they've already hit the stretch goals for uh, custom seals. Interior printing, embossing, they got foils coming up, additional cards. I'm sure they'll hit all those stretch goals if they haven't already. I know they hit some anyways. So um, I think it's pretty cool. It is very similar to Fuego. You can see it with that on my channel. Because it's inspired by the same artwork and artist. Next up, there's a Leonard Green deck. The Master of Chaos playing cards by Takumi Takahashi. He's a magician from Sweden. 22% funded, 22 days to go. One's a bit slow to find. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to happen or not at this rate. Obviously, <clears throat> having a non-standard currency doesn't help, but they do have it here. At that it's $13 each. On the early birds, still lots of early birds left. Almost half of them. Um, which is not a good sign. And so far, that's all they got. It's pretty much backers on the early birds. Uh, nobody's back for the... $15 deck, obviously, that would be stupid. And they're not selling doubles. You could buy one or you can buy three. Or you can buy two plus one signs. <laughs> three or three. You don't get you can't buy two decks unless you add one on. Uh let's look at the decks anyways. Fairly standard on the faces. <clears throat> Here's the back design, it's got his face on it. Kind of similar to the previous Leonard Green deck that I have. Uh, well, it, it had an, it has basically face on it. Uh, that one was a Tamako printed deck. You can see the review on that. You can still find it online if you're lucky. This one has a bunch of quotes on the sides and the top. And it's got his face on it. It's got some other symbolism related to his tricks. Uh, it's got his portraits. On the sides, it's got his hands holding cards. You can see right there on the sides of his portraits. In the background, it's got the magic square, one of his favorite tricks. You can see the numbers on there and everything. Then there is a stolen laser from Russian satellites, shooting out laser beam into the eye of the center. Kind of see that in the middle. I don't know what that's a reference to. And two of his famous quotes surround the borders. One on top and bottom, the other on the sides. So it's interesting. It's got a lot of Leonard Green stuff on there, but maybe it's too much. It seems like they're just throwing stuff on the back design just for the hell of it like I mean make it maybe simpler make it more like a standard deck maybe it'd be better instead of having all this stuff on there I don't know it just seems like it's just you know throwing a whole bunch of stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks <laughs> um to be printed by USB-C the tuck case pretty nice the master of chaos of course the Lord Green is a pretty well-known famous magician um, there's the Ace of Spades, pretty nice, with his hand holding cards and it's tied up and all sorts of chaos going on in there. The faces, you can see, they're fairly standard, they're recolored, and they've got elements of all his various tricks that he does within each one, which is nice. And this one's even got a set of clubs reveal, the Queen of Diamonds, that is. Um, all sorts of stuff, and you can see right here.
and I actually show you some videos of what those effects are, which is nice. <clears throat> and in the Joker, pretty straightforward. Contact with the mothership. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm in. I, I, I like it. It's a large green, so why not? But you compare this with the... Uh, um, what's his name? The, the deck that came out last year. The Magic Dragon. <laughs> Whatever his name is. I forget his name now. Unfortunately. Um, you compare that. This with that. And that one is obviously much better done. I mean it still had elements of. That magician. That character. This dragon what not. Um, but it was, it was interesting. It was a fun deck. This one, you know, it's fine. But it just seems like, you know, copy and paste stuff on court cards and back design of a whole bunch of stuff just thrown onto it because why not? So I don't know. I don't, it doesn't look like it's going to happen, but there's always hope. Moving along. Treble Clef playing cards by JD14 is funded three days to go. I like it. Pretty nice. You should check it out. Um, next, Magnificent Luxury Point Cards by Jeff and Home Run Games. 27% funded, 11 days to go. Do not see it happening. Um, people not too crazy about the back design, I guess. And then the, the biggest thing about it was these metal playing cards, and they don't seem to be doing too well. El Dorado, my addition from Manuel Valtierra. Funded, 12 days to go. A Day at the Races. Horse Race Point Card deck by Kevin Finn. 10% funded, 8 days to go. Not going to happen at this rate. And then we got Bicycle Earth World. Earth, excuse me. Bicycle Earth World. Um, apparently it's celebrating 10 years by Rob Balder. It's funded. It was funded very quickly. 26 days to go. Three different decks available. You can only get the red and the blue in a set. And the black one you can add on. Um, $16 for one black deck, or $10 if you add it on. Actually, that $16 includes a black deck, a plastic case of some sort, a badge, a virtual unit of something, and a download of a book. The red versus blue is what I'm getting. It's $25, two decks, and a couple other things. And then I added on for $10 the black deck. Um, they're very similar, just different colors. They do have a one-way back design because of the four different pips. What can you do? Um, some people call that a, a working mistake. It can be, but a lot of people just like to have pips on their back designs for some reason, despite the fact that they're all over their faces. <laughs> but I mean, it's fine. It's a pretty nice looking back design. The, court, the faces that you can see completely custom. They're unique. They could have made a little more space, or use of this space. There's a lot of white in there. But not a big deal. Um, apparently, the intricate card backs, and here's the back on one deck. It's the black deck. Not really black, but some black. And then the blue and the red. The just color changes. Uh, borders may be a little bit thick. Hopefully, that's rectified. Uh, and, you know, that's that. And this is what the plastic case looks like. I just want a regular tuck case, please. Um, and there's also this you can get. And apparently they're offering these cases as well. The acrylic cases. So yeah. That is that. It's pretty interesting. And I've never heard of it before, but apparently it's been around for 10 years. <laughs> Has anyone else here heard of it? Um, next, Flush Fatal. My Flush Fatal is 35% funded, 7 days to go, I don't see it happening. Harambe Playing Cards by Brad Billets. Or Blitz. Blitz. I might have mentioned that one last week, I'm not sure. It's 8% funded, 35 days to go. Not looking good at this rate, and I don't think it should fund trying to make money off this gorilla that was killed. 
and there's zero effort put into it. Zero effort means you deserve zero reward. I mean, all he did is create this back design based on, I think that's the back design anyways, based on an image, you know, a little Photoshop or whatever, and that's it. I really hope it doesn't say Kickstarter exclusive on it. That would be horrible. Um, the faces look like they're completely standard, and it's just horrible. If you want to create a deck, you want to be rewarded for it, put some effort into it. Let's see what stereotype card is by Jose Figueroa Pinto, Portuguese guy, no doubt. 0% funded, 28 days to go. Um, looking for $7,000. Does not look like it's going to happen at this rate. <clears throat> okay, apparently it's a game. I won't worry about that, I apologize. Next, Cardology Astronomy Edition by Timothy Daffenrud. Is 14% funded, 12 days to go. Not looking good at this rate. It's an interesting idea. And it fits what a deck of cards is, but it's just, I guess people aren't too interested. <laughs> uh, moving along. Make America kind again. <laughs> eh, not gonna happen. Um, the Kingdom of Outcasts art playing cards by CJ Freeman and Anna Cortez, 25% funded. Four days to go, needs a miracle to fund at this rate. And that's it for Kickstarter. Indiegogo, a couple of things to mention. First of all, meat playing cards, which I've forgotten about. 2% funded, 14 days to go. Chances of funding. <laughs> Strain Wars playing cards. The 50th attempt or whatever it is, I don't even know. Lost count. 0% funded, 63 hours left. Chances of funding again. <laughs> <laughs> for the millionth time. Give it up already, Mr. Jason Separate. <laughs> People don't want that. Uh, more importantly, Butterfly Playing Cards is well funded, 10 days to go. They're getting very close to the stretch goal of the red deck, if this will hurry up. <laughs> they have a $20, $120 early bird brick, still available, four left. <clears throat> um... You might be able to, you know, it might be able to split that six red and six blue. <clears throat> and these are going to be produced by Carter Moon Day. Apparently, they got a new stock and finish that they're trying out. Should be good. I got a lot of magicians behind it. Um, What is the stretch goal? I just want to double check. Three hundred percent is a stretch goal. So yeah, they're very close. That would be thirty thousand dollars. Hopefully, they'll make it. I wouldn't mind a red deck as well. Um. So that's that for Indiegogo. Fury Eleven. They have started off their wheel spin, their wheel, uh, spinning wheel game, whatever you call it now, the holiday wheel. But they're very, very stingy this year. Um, most people I've seen have been getting zero, nothing, I should say, or 25 points, maybe 50 points, a couple had 100. Um, some have even gotten the, the fantabulous prize of donating to a charity. Like, seriously, that surprise? They're donating to charity? You're donating, 311 is donating to charity on your behalf? That's your prize? I don't think that's what people want to win. I mean, there it is, spin the wheel. If you want to, if 311 wants to donate to charity, by all means, but people want to win prizes. And you guys are being stingy as fucking hell. I apologize, but this is ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure this is the first time ever we've seen 25 points and so many people are getting 25 points or 50 points or nothing 
what's the point of even bothering if that's all you're going to get? I mean, it's ridiculous. But anyways, um, oops, Dan and Dave, I'm not sure if I mentioned this one last week or not, go away, <laughs> uh, they're still offering this deck for free if anyone is idiotic enough to spend $150 on the same old, same old, uh, they still got the mystery decks, 12 bucks each, surprise, those mystery decks are a bunch of decks that they can't sell, that nobody wants to buy. So if you're stupid enough to spend the money on that, you might get lucky. You might get something like a private reserve deck. But more, more than likely, you're going to get decks from Deck Starter and you know other decks like these camp cards and other decks that nobody wants to buy. <laughs> uh, speaking of camp cards, they do got this new version. This is the one I wanted to mention. I don't know if I mentioned it before. Um, basically, it's the same thing as before, except that it got white faces now instead of black faces, and a white tuck case instead of a black tuck case. The back design is exactly the same. Um, I commented this on the forum, I'm going to say it now here. If you're going to make a deck that's camp themed, why the hell is it not green colored? I mean, wouldn't that not make sense instead of black? Um, the inside of the tuck case, there you open it, actually has a map. Ace of Spades has a reveal of the Ace of Spades. <laughs> and there's numbers in there too. I'm seeing 6412. <laughs> or is it 6912? I don't know. Anyways, that's that. What else is there? Oh, yes, there's one more thing to tell you about. Illusionist.com. Art of Play, by the way, has been doing daily releases. Whoops. Crap. Oh, crap. Hola. The most recent one yesterday was the apparently sold out DTS decks. So I managed to add one onto my previous order, <laughs> um, which is good. See, oh, the Winterberry Playing Cards project by uh, what's his name that was canceled because it wasn't doing well, it wasn't going to fund. Um, also, in case I haven't mentioned, worldcardexperts.com which is from DeVoe, shutting down, apparently he's gonna focus on doing stuff you know, via Kickstarter or for you know other retailers, as opposed to running it through his website. Apparently it's too much of a hassle for him. And, Apparently there's a new DMC Elite stack in red, as you can see right here. Oh, what's that? That looks like a pretty nice deck. I'm surprised they never released that one. So, SovereignPlayingCards.com. Available for pre-order right now, the Ruse deck. Next up, Vitreous Playing Cards, you see right here. Brand new deck from Rehandcrafted.com. Um, I will be getting one of these, of course. So many decks coming out right now, it's ridiculous. Very nice, nice jokers. Uh, pretty nice back design. The rest is standard. Uh, the weird thing is they did customize the number cards, but they, they decided not to do anything with the court cards. You know, if you're gonna customize a deck, I say go the whole way, otherwise, why bother touching the number cards? <laughs> um, I mean, I like the artwork they used on the Jokers, why couldn't they 
do something like that with the, the court cards, you know. I don't know. But anyways, it's a very nice deck. Um, apparently the only way you can see this 25 Days of Christmas extravaganza is the emails. Which, by the way, I'll see if I did get another email from them. Ah. Just very quickly here. Uh, Illusionist has something new to tell you about. If I can find it. Right here. Ah, there you go. Today, if you go to artofplay.com, you get a free stocking stuffer if you spend $75. A free metal 15 puzzle. Joy. <laughs> and they're also advertising the green aristocrat decks. So, so far they've had Sale on Glamour Nuggets, their Dex Days, Aviator, Heritage Edition. Uh, they sold the Private Reserve Sons of Liberty deck as Sale on Carter's Recon decks a couple of days ago. Yesterday they had the DTS deck. They've had a Sale on Uncut Seats. Uh, you know, so they had a 10% sale. And they've had a couple, you know, freebies if you spend X amount of money. Um, anyways, so Illusionist has this. It's a black legacy set. It features three of their original black decks in brand new tuck cases. And with black foil, as you can see, and UV spot ink and whatnot, as the Black Tigers, the Black Ghost, and Shadow Masters. Faces look basically the same. The backs, um, maybe a little bit of difference, I'm not too sure. Because, uh, obviously, of rider back issues. And this might be one of the main reasons for reproducing these, is because USB C uh, doesn't like people. Customizing writer backs, but at the same time, they're just standard writer backs, so I don't think there's an issue with that. So, I don't know. The, to me, it's a, it's a cast grab, really. <laughs> Here are three brand new decks and brand new tuck cases. Go buy them, and they come in a set. It's 50 bucks for a set. Uh, no sign of the White Ghost, although I do believe that is coming at some point in time. They just want you to pay extra shipping for that. <laughs> Place another order. Um... It's a bit pricey, but it does have all that nice foil, slight embossing from what looks like on the tuck case, foil and UV on the tuck cases, and it comes in a, a nice box of some sort in the set right here. So why not? It's a nice collection, free of the decks. These are the decks that started off custom playing cards, and I mean, you gotta give credit where credit is due. If it wasn't for looseness, we might not be having all these custom cards on Kickstarter and elsewhere. Because USB-C did not do custom playing cards for random people back then, <laughs> before then. Uh, so anyways, we got that. Um, what else is there? I can't think of anything else. One thing I want to say is that I am still waiting for a lot of items from Black Friday to ship. Still waiting for Conjuring Arts. Apparently some people received an apology email. The only email I got was when I actually contacted them about my package and they might have apologized, I don't remember. Uh, still nothing from King's Wild. Uh, the Encarta decks I pre-ordered, still nothing on that. Art of Play still has not shipped the package, it's worked for me because I combined it with the stack I got yesterday. Um, Still waiting on a looseness to sip out these Black Legacy decks, which should go out tomorrow. Um, what else am I waiting on? <laughs> you know, I'm still waiting for my uh, Legends playing cards order, but that one actually sipped. It's just a matter of getting it. The only one I've received so far is a Fear 11 one. There's, there's also David Blaine. A lot of people received that. Mine just sipped that a couple of days ago, so I won't see it until almost Christmas time, probably. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's taking so long for all these 
Black Friday things to sip out. I mean, get on with it already. Blue Crown, absolutely zero movement from that. I did get the bomb magic decks, of course, very quickly. But that was about it. <clears throat> Whoa. CollectiblePlainCards.com has apparently relaunched their website. <laughs> Never mind. This is a different website. CollectiblePlainCards.com has some new stuff. There's a new Bicycle Astronomy Playing Cards that I'm still waiting on as well. It's a freebie. Um, it's a very nice looking deck. They have the Bicycle Americana from Gambler's Warehouse, also nice. And there's this new signature NLC deck from Murphy's Magic, which I may or may not have mentioned. And six new colors of the Magic Notebook playing cards, which basically look like, or they're basically NLC decks made by the USBC for bookable playing cards. <clears throat> um, here's a bicycle astronomy. What the hell happened there? It's actually really nice looking. I'm really looking forward to this. This one was voted on by Club 808 Gold members. I was one of them, so that's why I get a freebie. <laughs> the designer says that when they voted for the astronomy as a theme, that they knew it would be especially difficult. But she wanted to make, you know, do the deck justice, and I, I think she did. I look forward to seeing how it turned out. Um, and then of course this one's the NLC one, nice darker blue color, I think it's darker than usual, and you can see that they customized the inside of the tuck case, for Murphy's Magic type, well there's a Murphy's Magic logo and some nice artwork, decent artwork, and the Jokers. And the aces, so at least they did something worth it. Not like Alex Pandrea, who just recolors the back design. Um, of course, these are gold videos. They do save ten percent on your order at collectiblepointcards.com. That's what I got. So if it took a bit long, I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.